So we've got the HP uh, Aruba 2930 switch with 48 ports and four SFP plus adapters, which allows us to install 10 gig uh, SFP adapters. So this switch is gonna be a new installation. So I need to unbox it, set it up, and then make sure we get it configured so it can be installed in its new location. So we've got the documentation, put that to the side. We've also got some, uh, we've got the brackets, which we'll be installing to mount this onto the, uh, the rack. Put that to the side, we've got the charging cable, and we have the switch itself. So let's take it out of the box, power it on, and then get it, uh, get the installation started by uh, logging into the device. So we've unboxed the switch and now haven't powered it on yet, but just wanted to show you the things that I'm gonna need. I'm gonna use the laptop to connect to the switch and then console in so we can then configure the switch, set it up, uh, do the configuration. Um, we're gonna need our console cable to obviously connect uh, the laptop to the switch and a power lead, which is obviously there. So once we do that, um, we can then uh, start the setup. So the reason I'm using the laptop instead of the PC is because I'm gonna be screen recording on the Mac, which will then allow me to capture the screen so you can see me doing the setup. Uh, as for the switch itself, here it is. It's the 2930F uh, model from Aruba. And it's got four SFP plus ports, which allow 10 gig connectivity. Um, all the other ports here, all these 40, 48 uh, ports are gigabit. And we've got the USB console, the micro USB console, um, the LED and the reset and the clear buttons, and obviously the um, the name of the switch. So let's power that on and then let's console in and get connected. And we go, so that's powering on. Initially, the power on is quite loud, so it should, after it does all its uh, post boot up runs, it will then quieten down. So hopefully, uh, we should see it quietening down any moment. There we go, it's all quietened down. Still doing some checks with the lights. And that's it. Now we're gonna move on to consoling in and doing the configuration. So let's go. Okay, so I am now uh, connected to terminal using my MacBook Pro and in order to connect the Mac device to the switch uh, through the console cable I need to list my um, just click on here I need to list the devices that are connected to my MacBook so you need to type in the command ls forward slash dev forward slash cu star uh, dot star and I press that that will tell me uh, what's connected to my MacBook through USB so as you can see here I've got my serial um, serial device connected if I copy this and then what I need to do is now what I now need to do is make sure that I've got the correct device listed so you use the screen command to then open up the uh, terminal session so if I paste this in uh, using the screen command that will then now open up the uh, console session on the switch. So let's give that a try and we'll press enter a few times and it should connect us. There we go. So now we are in the new switch. So uh, it's asking me to configure the manager credentials. So the username is going to be manager, of course. I'm going to type in a actually the password 
for it, I'm going to say, I'm just going to configure that. And I'm just going to re-enter that. Excellent. So I've now created my uh, admin credentials. What I now need to do is to configure the switch uh, with uh, the configuration that's required for uh, the purposes that we're going to use it for. So in this instance, it's going to be a new switch in a location that already has a switch. So I'm not going to create everything from scratch. I'm literally going to get a configuration from an old switch because why uh, reinvent the wheel? Um, I'm going to get a configuration from the old switch, paste that in, and then I'm going to adjust the settings on this switch um, and just make a few changes to that configuration. So that will just simplify life for me rather than me doing everything from scratch. I've already got a pre-made config from an old switch and I'm just going to load that in and hopefully that will make life easier. So I'm just going to get that. Now to do the configuration we need to, we need to enter the config, uh, config terminal command and now I'll paste this in and it should start doing all the settings as you can see it's already named it and it's just doing all the other bits in terms of all the configurations uh, that the other switch which is currently in the location has that's also a 2930 switch it's going to literally match that and hopefully um, I'll just need to make a few tweaks whether it's ports settings and things like that and I can do that later on but for now I've got my configuration, I've pasted it in, it should all be up and running after this and all we need to do is then uh, give it a new IP address on the main uh, VLAN and that will allow us to have connectivity to the switch and then we can take it to its location and mount it and get the installation complete. Excellent, the configuration is now complete and we just need to check the IP address. So we're going to configure the IP address of the uh, admin VLAN uh, and we're going to type that in. Center. Hmm. So let's do, because I think we may have given it 154. Uh, 154. We'll say no IP address first. Because this may have the IP address of the old switch. So we'll cancel that out. And then we'll configure this IP address. And there we go. So now once we get this switch on the network, we've configured the IP address. Um, what will happen is we can communicate with it and we can remote into it and console into it remotely using SSH uh, or the web interface and yeah that is it so let's take it over to its location and get it installed in the rack and mounted and hopefully up and running